If you're looking for a subtle guitar, yeah, this probably isn't the one for you. Technical death metal. It's a genre that I don't listen to and I don't play. So when Vola Guitars asked if they could send a signature guitar for tech death metal artist Michael Keane of The Faceless, I certainly wasn't expecting to gel with this guitar as much as I have. But I really have. This is the Vola Michael Keane Green Machine, and I have really enjoyed playing it. In fact, which is rather unusual for me, I've ended up writing two songs when I've picked it up. Uh, which has actually been more of a pain than anything, because it's when I've been trying to write the intro demo track, which I've ended up writing riffs that were far too good to use as just a demo. They've become full songs. So on that alone, I'm willing to call this inspiring. And before we dig in, I have to let you know that Vola did send this to me and I do get to keep it. But that's not going to stop me from giving it a full review and telling you what this guitar does and doesn't have and comparing it to other instruments on the market. Let's start with what you get with the guitar. It comes in a high quality soft case gig bag, which somewhat bridges the gap between soft case and hard case. It's got the benefits of the standard gig bag, you can put it on your back and it's lightweight, but it still offers some protection. It's rather rigid and it holds its shape. I mean, there's a lot of padding in this. And while it wouldn't be the same level of protection that you'd get in a hard case, and I wouldn't stack something on top of a guitar in this, I also don't want to baby a guitar that's in this either. It does offer a good level of padding. And I mean, I'm squeezing as hard as I can, and it's it's not it's not going in. So there is a good level of rigidity in this. So the guitar itself is the signature model from Michael Keane of the tech death band The Faceless. And while I don't know a lot about his work, I do know that he has had a signature Vola for a few years now, but that was made in the US custom shop. This is the production line made in Japan. So let's run through the specs. This is the Vola Alls shape, which is, as you can see, rather an S type shape, but with their own little twists. And it comes in this fluorescent Michael Keane green gloss. Very vibrant colour. The neck is three pieces of hard rock maple, and if you wanted a reference point, it feels somewhat Jackson-esque, I think. It, it's, I want to play fast on this neck. Also a first for the odd shape is this Vola 3 aside headstock, which I actually quite like because they've maintained the Vola swoop that's on the other, the six in the line headstocks. So it keeps a, a consistency throughout the different headstock shapes, which I like that design motif. On the back of the headstock, we've got Michael Keane's signature, six non-locking Goto tuners, and a volute to give us a little bit of extra added strength on the headstock. We've got a 16 inch ebony fretboard with 24 jumbo nickel frets, and the fretwork is very nice, but we will talk a little bit more about the frets in a little bit. On the board though, something that stands out is the inlays. We've got a Chaos Star as a signature 12th fret inlay, and more importantly though, something that I've never seen on a production guitar, is that these inlays on the front of the fretboard glow in the dark. These are loom inlays, and I've seen that on custom made guitars, but never on a production run guitar like this. Making our way back down towards the body, there's three main features I'd like to point out. Number one is that Vola have redesigned the neck heel on this guitar to where it is incredibly comfortable. It's quite difficult to get on camera, primarily because the guitar is so luminescent. But if I hold it here, you can see, maybe, that my big hands can get past the 24th fret comfortably. So 
quite a nice feature on that. The guitar comes with a Goto 1996T trem. It's a locking trem, it's a Floyd Rose license model, and it's made in Japan. So not only is the guitar made in Japan, but so is the Goto hardware, so both bridge and tuners and, and locking nut too. Now to give you an idea of the stability of this trem, this guitar arrived in June and perfectly set up. I haven't set this guitar up at all and it still remains in June and I've tried all sorts of wacky trem bar tricks. <laughs> This guitar comes with Fishman Fluence pickups, and for those that don't know, these are an active pickup set, so you've got your access to the battery door on the back, easy to change the battery, very handy actually, I, I do like that feature as opposed to having to unscrew anything. On the surface we've got a volume control and a five-way pickup selector switch, so you've got five different options, but if you pull out the volume control you'll get a different voicing on the pickups and your five-way selector switch, so you've got ten different sounds. Here's just a few of them. So I think that makes this guitar that's initially designed for technical death metal a lot more versatile than you might think. Are you going to bring it to the local blues jam? Probably not. But that doesn't mean it wouldn't do a good job there. <laughs> Now I've taken a look at some other videos about this guitar and I know this topic come up a few times in the comments section so I thought I'd talk about it. It's why does this guitar have nickel frets as opposed to stainless steel? After all, Vola make other guitars that have stainless steel frets so why not this one? So I asked and it comes down to one very simple thing. This is a signature guitar and the signature artist doesn't use stainless steel frets so stainless steel isn't going to be on his signature guitar and I suppose that makes sense and that's kind of the the drawback of signature guitars I guess in a way because they are specifically designed for one person and whether that one person's needs fit yours it all depends but I do feel like I should mention that the fretwork on this is really good like there's no issues whatsoever and while stainless steel is a nice thing to have it's not something that I would classify as making or breaking a good instrument. This is a good instrument and I also think that maybe as guitar players or the marketing of guitars we maybe understate how long nickel frets can last. Case in point I recently just a few days ago picked up a guitar from 1996 so closer to 30 years than not and it's been heavily played. The fretwork has a little bit of wear but it's not anything that affects any playability at all. That's with very heavy playing. So when it comes to nickel frets, they might be tougher than we might think. Now let's get on to price. As far as I know, this guitar is the most expensive made in Japan Vola that they offer. But for that, you do get some features that won't be seen on 
any of the other guitars that they make. For example, you've got the glow-in-the-dark inlays on the front of the boards, not just the side dot inlays. You've got a Godo 1996T locking tremolo, and you've also got the Fishman Fluences. So you are getting something for the extra money. Now the price for one of these in the US, in US dollars, is $17.49, and in the EU, in Euro, it's 2059 Euro. Although I think the, the EU one includes taxes, so that's why it's a bit more expensive than the dollar alternative. However, it's very clear to see that these not inexpensive guitars by any means. But if you're watching this video, they are going to be a little bit cheaper because the kind people at Bola have sorted us out with a discount code that takes 5% off. It's code KDH at the checkout and it actually takes a sizable chunk off. Like the EU price, you save over 100 euro. Yeah, so with the code KDH, the prices are 1661 in US dollars and 1956 in euro. Okay, now, so I looked at the market for something similar with these prices in mind, and the closest thing I could find spec-wise, so made in Japan, locking tram, Fishman Fluences, was an Ibanez RG 5120M. I feel like I got that correct. Yes, Ibanez RG 5120M PRT, because it's got the locking tram, it's made in Japan, it's got the Fishman Fluences. Now the Ibanez does have stainless steel frets, that's the main difference, but it, it also doesn't have like the glow-in-the-dark inlays on the board, so there are differences, but it's as close as I could get. And uh, let's look at the prices. Now in the EU, there's not a huge difference between guitars, the Vola is cheaper by a little bit, uh, the Ibanez is 2080 euro compared to 1956 with the with the discount code, but in the US it's a considerable difference. The Ibanez comes in at 19.99, so two, two grand, and then this with the discount code is 1661, so there's a big difference in the US for what seems to be a pretty similarly specced guitar, or at least closest that I could find. <laughs> I've talked a lot about what this guitar doesn't have, but let's talk about something that it does have, which sadly a lot of guitars don't these days, and it's stage presence. I mean, this is a show guitar, it literally lights up the room, uh, even in the dark, like the fretboard does. Not often does a guitar have some showmanship, but I think this does. It is very much a showy stage guitar, and, and I like that about it. If, if you're looking for something subtle, this is not the guitar for you, but if you're looking for something that stands out from the crowd, yeah. So that's my review of the Vola Michael Keane Green Machine Oz, and it might be something for you and it might not be. That's the thing about signature guitars, they're designed around one person's requirements. But then again, I don't play death metal and I'm having a hell of a time playing this, so maybe that's something to note. You don't have to play the same genre on the guitar uh, that the signature artist intends for it to be used for. So that's the video. A big thank you to Vola for sending this one out to me. A uh, big thank you to you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to see what that guitar that I picked up from 1996 is. It's, it's pretty cool. And uh, oh yeah, if you're looking for anything on the Vola website, make sure to use the code KDH because it does seem to save you a bit of money, which would be good. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.